Hi, hello and welcome back to Fitness Hacks brought to you by Life Fitness. This particular segment on my channel is uh, very, very special to me. Uh, I know, I know uh, people, people, you know, it's, it's a short duration video, but it's very, very important, very special for me because it's like taking you all through my journey of what all I've had to adapt as, uh, as a cricketer when I started to where it uh, transpired, how I got injuries, how how gymming and exercising and you know training formed a very important part of my career in fact at one stage in my life uh, for about two three years it was all about rehab and that's exactly why rehab and prehab also are two terminologies that i can use why i say rehab is exactly why this particular episode is going to be you watch the previous episodes on squats lunges so on and so forth shoulder care but today it's going to be about one of my favorite uh, parts of parts of i would say my garage uh, i would call it the bunky series not just me it's called the bunky series uh, why is it called the bunky series uh, there is a video there is a video that i've illustrated the bunky series uh, for you need a bench for example as you see the video it will be a, it could be a gym bench or it could be just any any bench where you can put a soft cushion on it where there is space for your uh, legs to go underneath it concentrates on three position one is the side angle the other one is prone where you're looking upwards and the other one is where you're looking downwards uh, so these are three different positions that you can do it in. Uh, as you, as always, uh, in the in in this particular episode, it will be about how, why, and what. What are the different ways in which you can do the bunky series? So one is where uh, the elbow is positioned on the ground, and your upper body is looking at the at the ceiling, and your uh, leg is also your toe is also pointing towards the ceiling. It works extensively, and then you lift your body using your elbow weight, and obviously also using your legs. So for people who cannot do single leg in this, can do double leg. You can put both legs on the bench and you can hold. For people who can do single leg stuff, you can pull one leg off the bench and keep one leg on. So it extensively works that particular leg. And the next position in which you can do it is the sideways one. Uh, in the front one, the hamstring slings work. And in the side one, the adductor slings work. Uh, slings, I'll talk about slings in a little uh, in a little while. And the other position is where you are looking down on the floor. Uh, your belly is facing the floor uh, and your toe is on the bench, both toes or single toes, depending on the complexity and your ability to be able to perform the exercise. As always, take the you know instructions from a, a qualified physician or a trainer and you, you will find yourself in a much better spot. But now, why do we do the bunky series? The bunky series, does it work on the muscle? Does the muscle strengthen? Uh, do the hamstrings strengthen when you're facing up? Do the adductors strengthen when you're facing side? Or do the quad muscles strengthen extensively when you're facing the floor? Yes, these are all strengthening parts of the exercise, the smaller uh, the smaller ways of strengthening. The, I mean, not, nothing like having a weight or doing those big bang exercises, which are your squats, lunges, or deadlifts, but this particular exercise is extremely important for you to be able to do all those other big bang exercises. I say this because these exercises work on your slings. Now, what is a sling? A sling is nothing but, uh, you know, there are lateral slings, there are, you know, then there are diagonal slings in your body where it flows through your body, starting from your upper, upper body, right, your shoulder to about the uh, toe. So these slings help you transfer the force in a linear and in a very smooth fashion through your body. Uh, let's just say I'll take you to an example in Nottingham. I injured and I tore my adductor muscles on the side, which is exactly why, I've, why I have made the side bunky series a daily routine for myself. Uh, this particular uh, time I tore my adductor muscle and then in Australia in 2019, I tore my lower abdomen muscle for which you can look down on the floor and you can put your feet, uh, your toe on the bench and it will really work those slings as well. Why did these injuries happen? Because the force is not being equally distributed and produced all through my body. Maybe the force was produced from my shoulder to the leg and as it was pushing across somewhere there was a hindrance and the other muscle and the sling couldn't really push the force across a certain muscle and I got injured. So you can say this helps you to produce force in a much better fashion through your body in a very equal fashion and also helps in injury prevention. Uh, injury prevention is as good as being strong on the field because if you're injury free, if you're strong, you're injury free and if you're injury free, you can perform uh, really well on the ground and that's very, very important. So how do we do these exercises? Like uh, what are the different ways is clearly explained. So how, how we do this is these are not exercises which I personally think I can use weights like dumbbells or anything to add on to make it difficult for me. So how I do these exercises and how uh, it helps me is uh, in holds. So for example, I go into a side hold position, 
I hold that position for about 30 seconds and then I change my leg. Uh, if for example, my right leg is on first, then I'll move on to my left leg and I will do every single one of these legs in every different bunky position for about 30 second holds. If it gets easier, I go on to 40, 45 seconds and I do two sets of these every day before getting into the gym. In fact, the side bunky is something that I do every day while I get up in the morning. Uh, it really helps me start the day well. I feel like my hip gets activated, my hip gets mobilized much better after that. Uh, so that's that. And in case you're not able to hold for long, do not worry, start with 10 seconds, five seconds, however you feel. If the amount of time you hold is less, try and increase the number of sets or the number of repetitions you do. Uh, this is not just for athletes or, or people who are involved in sport. I repeat, uh, tell the elders in your house, tell the young ones in your house to get going because these are very, very important, especially for people who are uh, who are at home in these lockdowns and people working from home, elderly people at home. They can really use these exercises to start building strength, especially when you get old and nudge the age of 40s and 45s and, you know, 50. Uh, these exercises will keep you hale and healthy. Your muscle tone gets better. Yeah, healthy lifestyle is always very, very important. So that's this series on Bunky Series uh, on Fitness Hacks brought to you by Life Fitness. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one.